What's going on guys? The time has come to talk about the DJI Spark. I'll be right back. Art here off the Dome Media Group. Okay, DJI fans, the rumors are over. The leaked pictures, we can all do away with them. Uh, DJI did a live streaming event earlier today announcing the release of the DJI Spark. Now, it is still in pre-order. However, DJI is promising that they will be shipping sometime in June. Now, DJI has summarized the Spark into four distinct functional categories. One, what they call the quick launch. You can launch and land the DJI Spark from the palm of your hand. Pretty cool. Number two is what they call simple control, which means you can control the DJI Spark. Hand gestures, just like a Jedi. You can send it away and bring it back. You can take snapshots like the Mavic, or you can use the optional controller. Number three is what they're calling create with ease. Uh, for me, what it is is a set of predetermined flight plans or flight patterns uh, built into the Spark, uh, and they're cinematic in their in their nature. So that means you can just hit hit it, choose the one that you want, and it will actually fly a predetermined pattern for a given period of time, and chop it down to I think it is a 10 second clip that's ready to be used and shared without all the work of you actually flying the pattern yourself. Number four is edit and share, which is basically the DJI Go 4 app allowing you to edit and add music and share your content immediately from your phone or your tablet without having to uh, remove media cards or dump it onto your laptop. You can share it and send it out to social media immediately. Now some of the quick specs are max speed of 31 miles an hour, max flight time of 16 minutes, uh, now they're saying that that's with no wind at a constant speed of 12.4 miles an hour. I don't know how you're going to fly outside with no wind, but these are just the stats that DJI is uh, is posting. Uh, max hover time, 15 minutes. Again, that's tested with no wind. So apparently they did these tests indoors. Takeoff weight is 300 grams or 0 0.66 pounds. Uh, the 3D sensing system has optical sense range of 1 to 16 feet. Uh, the camera has a 12 megapixel CMOS sensor that's a little larger than the sensor in your cell phone. Uh, it shoots at uh, 1920 by 1080 and uh, it's effective, effectively a 35 millimeter equivalent with an f-stop of 2.6. Which means it should be pretty good. I won't say low light, but um, it should be good in uh, some low light situations. Uh, obviously not complete darkness. The gimbal is a two axis mechanical stabilized gimbal and that's pitch and roll. The Wi-Fi operating frequencies are 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz. Well, there you have it. The quick and dirty on the new DJI Spark, the new bird in town. Uh, if you want more information, check it out. The link is in the description below. As always, subscribe, like, share, comment, and fly safe. Peace.